Beaumont police chief and the manager of a gun range in southeast Texas tonight are reacting to the possibility the Obama administration might ban a certain type of ammunition. The bullet can penetrate protective vest worn by police. KFDM's Jessica Crawford is live at the Beaumont Police Department with details. And Jessica, what is the government saying about this certain type of bullet? Kelly, the government says a ban could protect officers like the ones here at the Beaumont Police Department. But gun enthusiasts aren't so sure. Brad Bennett has spent eight years managing Lone Star Gun Range in Lumberton. He says during those eight years and even before that, the government has tried to chip away at the rights of gun owners. Uh, they're taking away the law-abiding citizens' rights. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives recently announced it's seeking to ban these bullets, 5.56 five, millimeter. Bennett uses them for hunting. You know, a law-abiding citizen, they, they're not going to go commit crimes with it. So the criminals are always going to have a, a, a bullet, and they're going to get them regardless, even if they're banned. The ATF says it's an effort to protect law enforcement officers from bullets that can penetrate their safety vests. Beaumont Police Chief Jim Singletary says he doesn't understand why anyone, even hunters, would need a bullet as penetrating as the 5.56 millimeter. I said, guys, why do you need a... Uh... What do you need? An armor piercing uh, uh, ammunition. And they can't really give an explanation because uh, the deer and the antelope aren't using body armor. Bennett says sales of ammo and prices have gone up since the ATF announced it was seeking a ban. Yes, the um, price has gone up. Uh, definitely, you see people online selling them for two and three times the amount of what they used to sell for. Chief Singletary has faith the possible ban could mean good things for law enforcement. I think I think the ATF is trying to, is trying to make things safer. I really do. I don't think there's a big giant conspiracy to to take the uh, uh, firearms away from uh, uh, and the ammo away from our citizen. The 5.56 millimeter bullet isn't the only bullet that can penetrate bulletproof vests, but it is the one the government is focusing on right now. I'm live in Beaumont, Jessica Crawford, KFDM 6 News.